Hi, my name is Alyssa and I talk about cartoons and cartoony things. This week I wanted to start the series of all the sketches of the Animal Crossing villagers. I've been doing an ongoing series where I'm attempting to draw all of the Animal Crossing villagers from A to Z, including the beta test villagers, the villagers that were only in one game. I'm not doing just the New Leaf characters, I'm doing all of them. And I do plan on showing all villagers A to Z, except for the first 15 or so A name villagers, which I unfortunately do not have the Procreate file for anymore, so I do not have the speed paint footage of that. But other than that, I will be posting all of the villagers A to Z, and I hope to do a montage at the end of the full alphabet, as well as a montage of all the final full color art when that's done in about a year or so, give or take. New Horizons will be out before I finish doing all the full color artwork, just a heads up. Oh, and one more thing. I have a giveaway going on for this Bob tote bag and a matching sticker of Bob as well. So if you would like to win yourself a little Bob tote bag, the link to the giveaway is in the description below. The giveaway ends October 5th at midnight and I will email the winner on the morning of October 6th to get your shipping information. US entries only please, I cannot afford international shipping. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the sketches. I used to put down the color palette for each villager type uh, on each layer, but then I got a more efficient system for all the rest of the letters, which you'll see in future videos. But basically I have a limited color palette for each personality type, so snooty villagers have their own palette, peppy villagers have their own color palette, and I will bend and break this a little bit for more iconic characters that need to be purple, for example, and they don't have a purple in their color palette, I will bend it to have a purple. But in general I try to stick to these limited color palettes because when I do do prints of villagers that are a certain personality type, I hope that they all kind of have a similar color story and feel to them so that was the intention with the limited palettes so anyhow here's me working on Annabelle she ended up being one of my favorites I actually got a little t-shirt of her when I got the $100 Redbubble voucher you can watch that video I'll put a card um, of all the stuff I got along with the Bob tote bag that you can win in the giveaway I got a t-shirt for myself of Annabelle because I think she's really cute I've never had her in any of my towns but I like pangolins and armadillos and animals like that I just think they're so cute and I think she turned out really good now analog I had never heard of prior to this uh, this project but he, I do the same kind of shapes I do for all the penguins I need to try to do some more unique shapes for the penguins because I give them all kind of rotund bodies and heads and it's a little bit of a challenge to come up with unique body types that also read as the villager because in the game they all use a standard template for all the different animals like all the bears have the same basic body shape and all that kind of thing and the penguins are all very similar so on future penguins I'll try to be more cognizant of that and come up with some more interesting shapes now anchovy was a little bit of a challenge because he's one of the, uh, I'm not going to be mean to these poor villagers, I'm not going to go so far as to call them ugly, but he's one of the more unfortunate looking ones in my opinion. His eyes are just very far apart and very like gazing into your soul with the pupils in the center. So I softened him up by making his eyes a little bit closer together and um, not having the pupils in the dead center staring at you. <laughs> Angus is just a cute sweet cow. I wanted to keep him very soft and sweet and gentle looking even though I think he's a jock personality type. Let me look at the screen. Oh, he's, he's cranky, but... <laughs> But I, but I love cows, I have a soft spot for cows, and like even a cranky cow and stuff, like I just, I just think he's so cute. So I kept him very soft, and even the hooves where it should have like a crisp point, I kind of softened it off a little bit, and the edges of the fur I made a little softer and rounder. In general, um, if you want to make a character look friendlier, you make the ends of the points more round, and if you want a character to look more harsh or villainous or mean, you make them a little pointier. Now sometimes you can bend and break those rules if you have a very like active punky kind of character and they can still be nice and pointy at the same time but in general that's something I like to do to make a character look more huggable, more friendly. Like I do with a lot of the mice, I keep the ears, the ears very round and bubbly. Now Anka, I, want, I really wanted to get her right because she's a fan favorite and I wanted to make sure that she came out looking like Anka and very snooty and with an attitude and I was pretty happy with how she came out. Now the coloring, I did do a video where I showed like my process of coloring her and I did change up my process a little bit because from that video I was like, I just use the eraser to paint in the light. I don't use a mask and now I use a mask because I can get more accurate looking highlights by going in and erasing the mistakes that I've made. I'll do a video on that maybe later. But <laughs> In short, Anka helped me kind of troubleshoot my coloring process so I have her to thank for me making my process more efficient from here on out. Annalise I love. All right, so I'm biased. All the Annalise eaters are probably my favorites like I love Antonio I love I love the anteaters I think they're really cute like a really good example of how to simplify an animal and still make it recognizable I just think they're really adorable and they look cute in all the clothes like if you play pocket camp and you dress up an anteater they look adorable in basically everything and they're a unique animal they're not like a dog a cat whatever they're a little bit different the horses are always an interesting challenge because horses are notoriously kind of difficult to draw but I also have to make them anthropomorphic and also make them kind of cartoony and fit the Animal Crossing style. 
So I've had a little bit of trouble with the horses and getting the legs right. As you can see, I redraw them a couple times. And for most of the horse villagers, you'll you'll see me kind of work out what to do with the legs. Because they're, they're supposed to be a little longer and ganglier. And I'm used to like the shorter, stubbier, chubbier legs. And you can't really do that with the horse as much. They need to be a little bit longer and more elegant. My favorite, my favorite villager, <laughs> Antonio. I just think he's so cute. I already talked about why I like the anteaters, but... I wanted to make him look extra round and extra huggable. He's very like Winnie the Pooh is the kind of thing I was going for when I was sketching him out. I wanted him to look very approachable and huggle huggable and really sweet. So I made everything on him pretty round, even like where it should be kind of pointy on his tail, I kind of rounded it out to make him extra squeezable and cute. And I went, I went with the limited palette and then I kind of changed it and made it a little bit less limited palette because I wanted him to look extra cute because he's one of my favorites. Apollo, the eagles are really fun in this game because they have really giant heads and beaks and the beaks take up like 80% of their face. So I didn't stray too far from the Animal Crossing style for these eagles and the birds because I just think the way they do the beaks on these is genius. It's such a good way to keep it low polygon but still like readable as a bird. I just think it's great and it makes for a really fun silhouette. The side profile of these eagles is really fun and I'd like to get more expressive with the bodies on future eagles. So I hope to do that in the future. I'm at the G villagers right now in the sketching process, G or H. So future eagles, I'll take note of that and try to do something more fun with the wings. Now, Apple is just like the cutest thing ever. Some of these I have to get additional time so I can talk about them a little bit because they go so fast in the Procreate speed paint, even at half speed. But Apple, I just think is so cute. And like some people have villagers they think are creepy. And I think Chrissy and whatever the other bunny is, her the polka dot bunnies, I think they're really creepy in game, but I tried to make them cute in my style when I drew them. But some people are just gaga about those rabbits. And then I love Apple, and I think he's really cute, but I've seen comments that people think Apple's really creepy, so I don't know. Everybody's tastes are just a little bit different in Villagers, which I find fascinating. Now, anyway, but on to Astrid. I think Astrid's color design is really interesting for the kangaroos. Like, I don't, I don't really know what they were going for for, like, a circus pow comic book kind of look, but I really dig it. I like that teal with the red. I think it's an interesting color combination. And I love the kangaroos because it's a two-for-one with the characters. You get to come up with the expression of the little one in the pocket, and I love this one, like, sticking his tongue out. And the babies are never named in the game, are they? They're just kind of like hanging out. Like at least in Winnie the Pooh, you have Kanga and Roo, but like these babies don't have names, which I find kind of interesting. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, by the way. Aurora, I like her because she has the really simple button eyes and it, like for a half a second as I was drawing, I was thinking, should I do them like the other style? Like, you know, the style I've been doing with the whites in the eyes. But then I was like, there's something so sweet and innocent about her having those like button eyes. It's very, again, like Winnie the Pooh style. So I kept them. I think it gives her a little bit of uniqueness compared to the other penguins. Because as I've said before, the penguins are all more or less the same body shape and kind of the same pose. Because I'm trying to think of something interesting to do with the feet. And kicking one up is good, but I've done that for like four penguins now at this point. So I got to find something else to do with the penguins. Maybe sliding on their belly. Ooh, that might be a good idea. Uh, moving on to Ava. The chickens, I think, are really adorable in this game, too. There's not too many, like, species types that I don't think are really cute in Animal Crossing, but I think they did a really good job with, like, all the birds and the anteaters are probably my favorite. Like, I like- or the eagles, rather. The birds are okay, but, like, the eagles, the profile on them is really cute. The chickens are really nice. They have this really, like, like pear-shaped body, almost, and they're just- they look like you could just scoop them up. Kind of like the chickens from, um, Legend of Zelda, if you ever played any of those games. Who hasn't played Legend of Zelda? Anyway. Now, Avery, um, he's another eagle, so I already think he's a very interesting design. But I like the little design of the pattern he has on his head. It, it almost looks like a- like a cave painting or carving of an eagle's head. And their heads are already so symbolic look or graphic looking as, as they are anyway with the simple beak shape and everything that I just think he's really interesting looking. So I had a lot of fun doing him and he wasn't as like pow colorful cutesy wootsy as the other ones. So he was a little more interesting to me to draw because I've drawn plenty of the cutesy wootsy ones. And then Axel, the little elephant. Elephants are fun and I, I would like to do some that are like more gigantic looking like huge elephants that are really busting out of the frame. Now we've reached the end of the A's with Aziz and I wanted him to have this kind of like cool charming look to him very like I don't know Lion King inspired I guess and he's where I start doing the colors and the colors go by really really quick. I'll try to slow it down so I have a little bit more time to talk but um, Procreate condenses everything to brush strokes and the colors I slap on very quickly because I'm not interested in getting them clean in the sketch phase. I just need to have them there for my reference when I'm creating the next uh, flat color stage to use for the final artwork. So to me it doesn't matter if the colors are really messy or not it just matters if the colors are right see i'm going back with antonio and i'm changing him a little bit to be more like his reference because the limited palette wasn't working for him so i i broke the rules for him a little bit because he's my fave and with these rough colors added on uh, that ends the sketch phase
Reading everyone's kind words and positive feedback on this series of Animal Crossing Villager artwork has been really fun on Reddit and Twitter and Instagram, and I really am having a good time drawing all these, though I do kind of wish they were done already because it's taking so long, but I really do greatly appreciate all the feedback I've been getting and all the warm and kind words I've been getting from strangers on the internet. It makes me feel very good. I post new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new uploads, and have a fantastic rest of your day.